Mike Young here, store manager of Bazaar Guitar Reno, Nevada, and uh, bringing you more drum accessories. Now, are you a drummer? Are you a metal drummer? Are you a metal drummer that triggers his kick drum? Now, so many people, and, and I run front of house at a club and do sound and things like that, and, and one of the most popular brands out there is gonna be the Alesis, you know, DM4, DM5, rack mounted, you know, easy to use, plug in your, you know, your trigger to it, boom, it's fantastic. This, I think, in my opinion, is a game changer, and if drummers don't catch on to this just because of portability and overall sound quality and versatility, uh, there's just no helping them. Um, I'm bringing today the Roland TM2. The TM2 comes in like under 200 bucks. So many sounds, so many everything, um, like functionality-wise, it's, it's awesome. Now granted, the DM4 and DM5 have multiple inputs. This has two inputs, um, balanced, and so you might be able to split them if you're just using one, one sound per thing, so come in with four, uh, but it's just two inputs. Uh, very small, as you can tell by the box, and of course, I went ahead and I brought out the one that I've been messing with right here. So this is compact. This is awesome. If you have an extra, um, an extra stand or even off your hi-hat stand, you can mount this super easy. Um, the screen is well lit. Not too many buttons to mess with. Um, back here, you have a mount that goes into like a clamp or something like that. So it catches on, boom, sits right there. Uh, wings, mounts super easy. At the bottom here, well, of course, MIDI, MIDI connectivity. So if you're running SPDSX pads or various other you know, modules or going into backing tracks in a program, you can sync up everything right there. Bottom, this is really awesome. You have an SD card slot, so you can expand. There's already a lot of stuff. I think there's something like 25 kits on here. Um, I'm gonna do a quick cycle just to see. Uh, do, do, do. So, wow, there's, there's a lot more than I thought on here. Coming in at 50. So 50 preloaded sounds, so that's four sounds per patch because you can, uh, with this function here, one, two, and then you shift and there's two more on there. And then from, uh, from 50 on, you have your own user kits that you could save into there, and this goes on and on, right, right through there. Super easy to preview everything. I'm taking this back towards the beginning. Now, I believe there's sound samples and things available and some other videos for Roland US, but this is just my personal take and just to let you know that we do have these here at Bizarre Guitar. Um, I'm back in these things, I love them. You have stereo outs or just a mono. You have a headphone, uh, an eighth inch headphone jack right here. Uh, of course, the trigger ends. Um, easy to mute. Yeah, I you can lock this thing so it's not getting moved, I believe. Volume all the way out. Now, another thing that's really cool is, you know, there is a certain accuracy with having triggers. Yes, absolutely, a consistency of sound, especially doing things that requires a lot of notes at a, you know, very fast speeds. This thing right here also allows the option, and I believe it's in the later parts where it says like, uh, metal attack, uh, blast attack, two bass attack, and these are three patches I'm gonna bring up right now. This is just the tick, this is just the snap, just the attack of the kick drum. So by doing this, you could take and blend with a microphone. So you still maintain the human aspect of the drum, the natural organic aspect of the drum, but by mixing in the triggers. So you still get all that great articulation that's needed. Um, and then, so blast attack's got one. You go to metal attack, it's a little bit deeper. You go over here to two bass attack. It's two separate sort of like ticks, slightly pitched differently. So it emulates, if you have a two kick drum setup, it sounds like you have two kick drums and you blend them with a microphone. It sounds like two real deal kick drums with all the attack cutting through. Um, which is which is great because I think, in my opinion, sometimes metal, death metal, things like that kind of loses a little bit of that organic aspect where the dude's actually playing drums. So that's just my opinion. And if I was doing front of house for a band or whatever, 
I'd push to use this so I can use some mics, throw up a couple D6s, mix with this. Freaking thunderous, and you don't lose any of the notes that are going into that thing. Again, we have these here. This is coming in under 200 bucks. This is one of the best buys, one of the best things, and just the fact that it's just so small. It's so petite, fantastic. It actually feels good, even though it's plastic. You could squeeze it and you know everything else, and it holds up well, feels like it's made well. Um, triggering drums, extra sounds, this is a necessity. Get it, we have them here, we'll talk to you later.